Once again, a killer deal. This box is listed at over $12,000. It's an MB88, or excuse me, MB. What up, guys? CP the Two Addict. Woo! What better way to get clicks and views than jump on the Harbor Freight bandwagon because. Nothing gets those guys on your page to watch this garbage like posting Harbor Freight stuff. And now, keep in mind, I'm being a little salty, but don't let you get your panties in a bunch. We're going to talk about some real talk here. I just want to help out guys from making, maybe making a purchase that they will not be quite as satisfied about. Now, uh, I have the U.S. General Series 3 72-inch modular, which I don't know why they're calling it modular. It's a toolbox. You can put a hutch and a... It's not modular. Modular means it comes and it comes apart and rolls around, whatnot. Bigger tool companies are making modular boxes. This is technically not modular. And uh, second of all, if you're interested in buying a Series Three uh, and you are a advocate, or, excuse me, let me reverse this. If you are interested in buying a good quality toolbox and you support good quality toolboxes, this video is not for you. This, is, this video is going to be for DIY guys and maybe entry-level professionals or entry-level techs that are wanting to get in that are thinking about buying this U.S. General box. And I'm going to give you some real facts and real scenarios and some real thinking to give you options before you step out and buy something like this. Now, if you notice here, I've got the prices, $699, $1799, top and bottom. Those are in stone. We do know that those are out there. Plus, you could probably get some coupons getting off. Then we have $4.99. That is a speculated price. I don't know the exact price. I couldn't find the price. So if you do know the price, leave a comment down in the comment box. I could be off on this. All together, in this total configuration, $3,500. Now, if I was an entry-level tech coming in, or maybe I wanted a pretty hot box for my house, because this is overkill for almost any DIY guy. In fact, I don't know a DIY guy in in the entire world unless you're like some sort of super professional diy guy where you just really want to have everything which is totally fine this would be an okay setup for you now a couple of things that i want to put out out about this box is, is first of all this is they're stepping up the price in this you're paying 500 dollars extra for it and i've had a couple of people already lose their mind about that you know oh my god it was 16.99 originally whatever uh, you could get it for cheap. It's been on sale for months and months and months and months and months. It's never been $1,700 for years now. Nonetheless, I digress. It's a 22-inch deep box, and that, to me, is a very, very, very big problem. Coming from experience and having a box where it's 22 inches deep, uh, you're, you really narrow your, your whole market down. In fact, there's a lot of boxes out there that are 22 inches that are way cheaper than this and will do the exact same job and for less money. But we're going to compare this. We're going to compare to boxes like this that are deeper, not the smaller ones yet. If you want that video, let me know in the comment box. So we're going to start off right here with the Husky box. That's the adjustable workbench top. $13.98. Okay. A lot cheaper. 24 inches deep. So you're already getting two inches of depth on it. Yes, there is no third drawer, and the power drawer, guys, I'm telling you, is a moot point. Uh, the power drawer, honestly, if you got a hutch on your toolbox, I would rather just have my battery sitting up on top. Uh, power tools, you can hang on the back wall of it. Really utilizes the space. I've seen so many guys that have hutches that don't utilize the entire space, and it just becomes a cabinet that catches tools. I honestly don't like hutches. I think top boxes are the way to go, but right now we're already saving money. Moving right along here, we have another one, and you can get it in different colors. Not, once again, no third drawer, power drop, all I said before. Then we have boxes like this from Strictly Toolbox that are a little bit more, but they're 30 inches, 25 inches deep, excuse me, 25 inches deep. So now you're getting into the depth would be with an icon. Of course, you could always jump up the money and buy an icon, right? But is the icon... Better or worse, I don't know. This one's got three drawers, so that makes it a better option for me. This one's listed at like $2,800. I strongly advise anybody that's going to be in a professional to look, definitely do, do your due diligence and think about that depth. Honestly, the width to me is not as much of a, of a bonus. 
the depth is what really matters. Uh, the RS Pro is another 25 inch box. Do I have? Yes, they're 2268. Uh, I've seen them on JBD, JB Tools, and you get them for all the same colors. Once again, does not have the third drawer, doesn't have the power drawer, but it's to me, it's really not a, a selling point, in my opinion. I think that power drawer is, is very hyped up, overhyped, and not worth the money. Now, let's get into what you could buy for a, for, a, for a, maybe a $1,000 more. Right here is a Snap-on Master Series 72-inch used on Facebook Marketplace. Guys, I can do this all day long. Now, keep in mind, you're only getting a 90-day warranty on the U.S. General, and there's not going to be a warranty on a second-hand tool truck toolbox. But I will tell you this. At $32.50 for 72 inches plus 30 inches deep on a Master Series Snap-on toolbox, you are going to have more space than the, the U.S. General with the side lockers. And you could always add the U.S. General side lockers on if you wanted to. And so $32.50 in the bottom box... Uh, not having a hutch, you know, could be a, you know, something that you don't really, but I honestly don't think the hutch is going to matter. If you're a DIY guy, why do you need a hutch anyways? Hutches are really meant for guys that are in professional shops that want to lock up their computers and stuff at night. And I honestly think if you're buying a hutch for home, really w big waste of money in my opinion. Once again, we got another 25 inch Matco 4S double bay for $2,500 used on Facebook Marketplace. You can't beat it, guys. Marketplace. We've got a ton of Marketplace videos. Let's just get rolling through them. Maximizer. 27-inch toolbox for $4,300. Once again, a killer deal. This box is listed at over $12,000. It's an MB8827 or excuse me, MB uh, is what the part number is on this one. You can look it up. That is a hell of a deal. That is over half the price of what it was new. Uh, we have a Snap-on Epic. Once again, this box is listed at over $12,000 for five grand on Facebook Marketplace. I'm And I'm just doing random searches. A Husky 72-inch box, $850. A Snap-on Toolbox, once again, $2,200. And it's a 30-inch deep Master Series. I can tell just by the pictures. Tons of space. That depth makes a huge difference. Coming from a guy that ought, I had a Waterloo a long time ago that was a 20-inch deep box, I can tell you that even a 2-inch difference is not a big deal. Going to a 25-inch deep box is an absolute minimum standard if you are in a professional series lineup, in my, in my opinion. I think that people are going to be severely disappointed when they buy the U.S. General Series 3 because you're really getting a Series 2 with... with uh, it's, you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. Uh, that's the problem. I mean, they added one long drawer. Yeah, kudos from doing that. That's nice. Changed up the drawer latches. Big whoop de doo lock. You could take the drawer latches out of the S-Series too. I just don't think you're really getting the best bang for your buck when you look at Marketplace and you see things like this. A Triple Bay 4S for $3,300. That, And this one could possibly be one of the newer 28-inch deep 4Ss. That I don't know. Once again, here's a tool vault. If you want to hutch, three long drawers, $4,000. You know, I, I you just got to be patient. Matco 4S Toolbox, $2,500. I can do this all day long, guys. I mean, uh, and I'm not knocking on if you want to buy a U.S. General Series 2, but the deals are on Facebook Marketplace, and I really feel like you're going to see a lot more of this come up. There's a lot of good used toolboxes in the market in the world. There's a lot of techs that are retiring that are selling stuff. Facebook Marketplace, in my opinion, has been extremely flooded. And I'm just trying to help you save money, get a better deal on a box, have something that you're going to be a little bit more proud of, in my opinion. Uh, and then we have right here, Husky 80-inch 80 three-piece toolbox set, $13.59. Brand new. <laughs> uh, then we have a Matco toolbox, $35.80 for a giant. That's like a 5S, I believe. I mean, just killer deal. Uh, here's a Snap-on with Hutch. Once again, that is a 30-inch deep toolbox for $3,500. Uh, I mean, these are unbelievable deals for USA-made quality toolboxes. Now, once again, I've already we've already established if you you don't care about where it's made, if you're looking to buy in a U.S. General, that's out the door. You're just looking at price. Well, I, I think that if you bought something like this, and then let's say you added the two toolbox, the two hut or two side lockers from the U.S. General. And spend another thousand dollars on it. Forty five hundred dollars versus thirty five hundred dollars into a U.S. General Series Three. 
Come on, there's no way you can tell me that this is not the way to go. And then we walk into something like this. A Matco 6S, 4S, with a top box and a, and a mini hutch, three long doors, $4,000. You add two of the U.S. General Series 3 lo side lockers onto it, you're talking five grand into a hell of a toolbox for the money. I mean, that is phenomenal. Once again, you do the math. You, you, it, you take, it's your money. You spend it however you want to. At the end of the day, I just want to give you pertinent information that's relevant to real life experiences. I'm not saying, and you got to keep in mind, the depreciation, you look at the depreciation of those boxes, what do you think this box is worth after you buy it and use it? Maybe $1,500, maybe 1000 bucks after you buy it. The depreciation is going to be 50%. Uh, the tool trucks aren't going to give you much in trade-in if you have to get out of it because you want to get a deeper toolbox. 22 inches, keep in mind, 30-inch ratchets, extensions, things like that will not fit in those toolboxes. If you have an extension, keep in mind, a locking extension, you always have to lay everything sideways. After a while, the room gets eaten up in your toolbox when you start laying things sideways. Pry bars, etc. Not even concluding the, lock, the cabinets on the side. We're talking about long items. And there's a lot of long items. Long cases, long things like that. And that eats up a ton of space in your box. So I just got to give you that information. I got to share that. I'm being honest, being real with you guys. Trying to give you some options. Be patient. That's one of the biggest things. You can always find these deals on Facebook Marketplace. It's all about being patient. Keeping your eyes peeled. I know guys that have bought an Epic Toolboxes for $3,000 on Facebook Marketplace. I mean, these deals are... Th this Mac box over here that I showed you guys, that's even that's a crazy killer deal right there. That's a nice 4S toolbox. Uh, the Mac box that I showed you uh, back here, this is a phenomenal deal. That is a 68-inch toolbox that's 27 inches deep. That drawer is absolutely phenomenally long. I guarantee you, you would be surprised how much you can fit in there for storage. I'm not, I didn't go through and get all the specs on these toolboxes, but I can guarantee you almost every one of these toolboxes, this toolbox right here is probably pushing 40,000 cubes, whereas your U.S. General was 29,000 plus on stock. Uh, just the bottom toolbox alone, you're talking uh, like this box right here, guarantee you up into 35, 36,000 cubes on it. And keep in mind, it's kind of irrelevant, but as a guy that sold toolboxes professionally and I've had multiple toolboxes in my life, I made the mistakes of buying boxes that I really regretted buying. And the depth was one of the things that I never, ever could get over. The deeper the box got, the better it was. Didn't matter the size, the length, honestly. Like, you know, I mean, the Mr. Biggs and stuff like that don't make a difference to me. It's the depth of the toolbox that will really help you organize your tools in a right way that will help you make money. So anyways, guys, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.